everyone! Welcome to Storytime! I'm Miss Christina from EVPL Central and I'm so glad that you could join me today. We're going to sing some songs and read a book and we're going to actually make something to eat at the very end, so stay tuned for that. But let's start with our hello song. I'm pretty sure you'll remember. We clap our lap and then clap, okay? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! It's very loud. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. two other opposites. Do you want to do near and far again? I think that could be fun. I think I've done that one before. All right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as near as we can. All right, here I come. Hello. Hi. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as far as we can. All right. Let's get as far away as I can. Hello. Can you see me? Hello. All right. That was fun. Now we're all warmed up. We are going to sing a couple more songs and then we're going to read our story. So for this one, this is a little rhythm, and we're gonna use all of the props that we have. We're gonna use our shaky eggs and scarf and our rhythm sticks. And if there's anything that you don't have at home, you can find ways to make do. Um, you could use a jar of sprinkles for a shaky egg. You could use a bandana or a napkin as a scarf. You can use just regular sticks as your rhythm sticks. But first, we're gonna get our wiggles out. So. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and 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 we stop. How about we get our scarves now? We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and 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 we stop. What about our shaky eggs? We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and 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 we stop. And last but not least, our rhythm sticks. Ready? We tap and we tap and we stop. We tap and we tap and we stop. We tap and 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 we stop. Good job. That's really hard. You really want to tap on the last one. All right, let's do one more round of wiggling. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. Woo! That was really silly and weird. All right, we are going to do one more song this time with our scarf. We're also gonna use our shaky egg, sneak peek. But first, get your scarves ready. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. We wave them up <laughs> Wave them up high. Wave them down low. Wave them in the middle. <laughs> All right, now we switch to our shaky eggs. We shake our eggs together. We shake our eggs together. We shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. Shake them up high. Shake them down low. Shake them in the middle. Good job. All right, let's put all of our props to the side and we're gonna read a story. This Little Bunny Can Bake by Janet Stein. There we 
are some good looking recipes. Hurry, class is about to begin. Following their noses, the new students arrive one by one at Chef George's world famous dessert school. Chef George's School of Desertology. Eager students have come from far and wide to study with the master pastry chef. I wonder if we'll make cheesecake. I hope we'll make shoe fly pie. Are fish cakes a dessert? Quick, to your seats! The master is coming! Bonjour, everyone. I am Chef George. I know everything there is to know about dessert. And as of now, you know absolutely nothing, but I will teach you. It's very simple. See how easy it is? Questions, anyone? What's an ingredient? Looks like we're going to have to start at the beginning. This is a pot. This, this is a spoon. This is an egg. And this is a pot on a stove. And these are a few recipes from the world's greatest dessert chef. Sublime Shortcake by Chef George. Chef George's Fanciful Fondues. Chef George's Sensible Sweets. Chef George's Perfect Pies. Do you see a theme? When do we get to eat? It's a good question. Now the time has come to train your noses. Cover your eyes and tell me, what do you smell? And no, no peeking. Let's see, are they getting it right? I see someone peeking. After many hours of instruction, the moment to start baking has finally arrived. On your marks. Get set, go! Take the time to measure carefully. Sometimes teamwork is necessary. And complete concentration is a must. A dessert should smell as good as it tastes. The kitchen must be kept neat and orderly. Uh-oh, it's not looking so good. When do we eat? And don't forget, presentation is everything. Ta-da, finished. Would anybody like a bite? It says, this little bunny can bake. Fine job, everyone. Now line up with the rest of your desserts and smile for the camera. Say cheese. There's some more recipes. The end. In the story, Chef George shared a ton of recipes with his students. And if you looked really closely, you could see that there were some recipes in the end papers when we started reading. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of those recipes. So let's head over to the kitchen and see what we can whip up. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. Parents, cooking and baking with your kids is a great way for them to develop motor skills and learn important things like counting and measuring. Plus, who doesn't like yummy food? So, before we get started, we need to make sure that we have everything in Chef George's recipe. So I'm gonna bring it up close so you can look at it. We're gonna make this recipe right here. Chef George's Berry Petite Cream Cheese Tarts. So let's go over our ingredients and make sure we have everything. So Chef George's recipe calls for graham crackers, 
and cream cheese and heavy whipping cream, honey, and to finish it off, raspberries or whatever your favorite berry is. Mine happens to be raspberries. We also need to have something to put it in when we're done. So I have these little custard cups. We have a bowl and a whisk and a spoon and very importantly, this Ziploc to help crush graham crackers. So, first things first, the first thing it tells us to do is to crush the graham crackers. So I'm gonna put them in this Ziploc to make it a little easier. All right, it says two whole graham crackers. So I'm putting them in there. I'm gonna make sure I seal my Ziploc. We don't want crumbs going everywhere. Now I'm gonna crush them into little bitty pieces. This is a fun activity for kids because this one's really easy to do. And it's so much fun to smush graham crackers or anything. want the crumbs to be really tiny so if you have any big pieces you got to keep going all right can you see my graham crackers they're all crumbs now so step two says divide the crumbs evenly among the ramekins or custard cups so I have two so I'm going to help get, just pour them into, Woo. all right, does that look even to you? Does it look like they're similar in the levels of crumbs? Right. Oop, there's a crumb that escaped. Okay, all right, so we have that. Now we're gonna push these to the side. We're gonna get our whisk and our bowl. So it says, in a medium bowl, whisk the cream cheese, cream, and honey until it is thick and creamy. That sounds really good. So first off, we need half a cup of cream cheese. So let's get this opened up. And I have a half a cup here, but cream cheese is really sticky. So if I put it in here, it's not gonna fall out. So I'm just going to eyeball it. That means I'm just gonna measure by looking at the volume and guessing where I'm gonna say, that looks like it's about a half a cup. It's okay if you're off a little bit. So we're gonna put that in there. <clears throat> then it calls for two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of honey. So I have my tablespoon, so we're gonna do it twice. All right, there's one and two. We're gonna pour in two tablespoons of honey. use a whisk. I'm going to try using a whisk, but if that doesn't work, I'm going to switch to a spoon. And 
here we go. We have Chef George's Berry Petite Cream Cheese Tarts. You wanna see them up close? Looks good to me. And let's take a bite. As Chef George would say, bon appetit. This has been really fun, but it's time to say goodbye. So let's do our goodbye song, right? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye, goodbye. How about we do high and low next? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. <laughs> that sounded so funny. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to find more great programs for all ages, please follow us on social media or check us out at evpl.org. Thanks again. Bye.